Hello everyone, welcome to this session of Coordinate Geometry and as we know we are going to learn three important concepts under this title and today in this session we are going to concentrate only on the second concept that is section formula. So for that let's consider two towns say town A and town B and let's say we know the locations for these two towns locations that is coordinates so let's say coordinate for A as 2, 3 and coordinates for B as 5, 6 and a postal department wants to place a post box P anywhere in between A and B such that it divides the line joining A and B into two sections and those sections are such a way that distance between A and P is twice the distance between P and B and therefore it can be represented as AP upon PB equals to 2 upon 1 and therefore we can say that ratio of their distances that is AP is to PB is 2 is to 1 which indicates that if the distance between A and B is divided into three equal parts then two parts will be on the left side of P that is towards A whereas one part is on the right side of P that is towards point B and main aim of this session is to find the coordinates of P that is X and Y so let's start with X X coordinate of A is 2 and X coordinate of B is 5 looking at the ratio 2 is to 1 we realize that we need to find the value of X in such a way that if the distance between 2 and 5 is divided into three equal parts then two of the parts will be towards point 2 that is x coordinate of a and one part will be towards 5 that is x coordinate of b and this can only be done by the point 4 on x axis so therefore value of x coordinate of p is 4 now you can see that distance between 2 and 5 is divided in the ratio 2 is to 1 now let's repeat the same process for y axis as well so y coordinate of a is 3 and y coordinate of b is 6 and we can see that 0.5 follows the ratio 2 is to 1 so therefore value of y coordinate of p is 5 we got the coordinates for point p very easily because the ratio was very small that is 2 is to 1 so we have divided the total distance into 2 plus 1 that is 3 equal parts to locate the coordinates for point p but it becomes very difficult in case of big ratios like for example say the ratio is 10 is to 15 then I have to divide the small distance into 10 plus 15 that is 25 equal parts to locate the coordinates of the point so this was just an example but from this example we understood that locating the coordinates of point in this way for big ratios is very difficult so we require some mathematical trick which will help us to find the coordinates of P in case of big ratios as well so let's start with the x-axis and let's try to find the trick for getting the value of x as 4 using the given values and the given values are now observe this carefully multiply first part of the ratio that is 2 with x coordinate of the second point that is 5 and multiply second part of the ratio that is 1 with x coordinate of the first point that is 2 add them and divide with the addition of the components of the ratio that is 2 and 1 on calculating we get 12 upon 3 which is nothing but 4 which is the exact value of x for p so similarly let's repeat the same process for y axis we have to get the value of y as 5 by using the given values so multiply the first part of the ratio that is 2 with the y coordinate of the second point that is 6 and second part of the ratio that is 1 multiply this with the y coordinate of the first point that is 3 add them and divide by sum of the two components of the ratio we get 15 by 3 that is 5 the exact value of y for the point p and interestingly this trick works for any ratio whether it is small or big so let's try to generate a general formula which will help us to find the coordinates of the point using any ratio so for that let's consider any coordinates for point a and b let's take a as x1 y1 and let's take b as x2 y2 and let's take the ratio as m is to n and follow the same trick we will get value of x 
for P as first part of the ratio multiplied with the x coordinate of the second point added to multiplication of second part of the ratio and x coordinate of the first point and divided by sum of the components of the ratio. Similarly, we'll get the value for y. So y equals to first part of the ratio is multiplied with the y coordinate of the second point that is added to multiplication of second part of the ratio and y coordinate of the first point divided by sum of the components of the ratio. So therefore, we can say that x comma y, the unknown coordinates can be found out using this formula. This is called a section formula. So from this section formula, we can find one more formula called as midpoint formula. This formula helps us to find the midpoint of the line joining the two given points. So in the same example, say point P is in the middle of A and B. So the ratio automatically becomes 1 is to 1. So M is 1 and N is also 1. So this section formula is reduced by putting values for M and N as 1. So finally, x comma y becomes x2 plus x1 upon 2 comma y2 plus y1 upon 2. And this is called as midpoint formula, which helps us to find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line joining the two given points. So let's have a recap of what we have learned in this session. 